Hey YouTube community, Robert here, and we are busy as creators, but I wanna show you an app that can fit in the palm of your hand that can help you keep track of everything on the go, and it's easy. iPad Lover showcases the powerful, creative, and entrepreneurial capabilities of the iPad and its apps. Hey everyone, Robert here, and if you are busy, have a hectic life, especially being a YouTube creator, this app is going to be for you, and it's going to help like stream down a lot of your workflow. And it's called, well they got it in the apps, in my app stuff as YT Studio, but it's known as YouTube Creator Studio or YouTube Studio. And basically, it's an app that taps into analytics off of your YouTube account, and um, basically lets you work with comments, uh, find out retention time, your likes, dislikes on specific videos and playlists that you've set up. But basically I want to just go over the interface here. Now I'm in landscape mode on my iPad. If I were to flip this up in portrait mode, which I'm not going to do because it'll mess up this tutorial, it will um, show just the dashboard portion of it where the menu up in the upper left hand corner the three dashed lines you'd be able to see to get to the side view that you have. Now let's go over the side stuff here first before we get into anything else. You can see my account here up at the very top. If I tap on the downward arrow, I would be able to go into the different channels that I'd set up or I can add an account. If I tap on the gear settings, I am able to get into um, managing accounts, that sort of thing and just tap on the back arrow to get out of that and tap on the X to get out of that. Now, as it opens up into its default, it opens up into the dashboard. This is basically, it has uh, several modules that are here. Your analytics, your videos, and your comments, which pretty much are the main important ones that you want to go through, but we're gonna go through all of them here. If you if you wanted to, you can go down the left side and you can tap on videos, playlists, comments, analytics, all of that stuff. Or you could go into the analytics portion of your dashboard and tap on view more. Um, either way will get you where you want to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and go off of the left hand side. So I'm gonna tap on the videos. And all of the videos that you have uploaded will show up. Now it gives you your basic information, um, likes, dislikes, comments, views, whether or not it's monetized and whether or not it's uh, public, unlisted, or private. Now you can sort them by tapping on the um, where the most recent slightly grayer bar is on the far right hand side. You'll have three bars. You can sort by most recent or most viewed. You can do it that way. Uh, you can also go into a search of your videos should they not show up on the list and just tap on the back arrow to get back. But I wanted to show you uh, what you can get into by getting into some of the different analytics on your video. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap on how to follow hashtags on Instagram and this is a video that I made a while back. Now it gives you uh, several options. You can play the video if you wanted to by tapping on the center arrow. You can also check the analytics of each and every individual video. It gives you your basic um, watch time minutes views and your estimated revenue. You can also tap on the view more and get a more detailed graph of the analytics off of each one of your video. And I'm tapping on the, the menu choices up at the very top. You have your overview, your revenue, you have your discovery, your audience, and you have your interactive content. That is if you place cards or um, end screens in there. Now each one of these can be looked at in a bit more detail. So if I wanted to check out my traffic source types on this particular video, I just tap anywhere in that area and it brings up a more detailed report as well as at the very bottom it gives you uh, options to be able to act on the reports that you see and gives explanations as to each action. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on my back arrow and get out of the analytics here. Now if I wanted to I could go ahead and tap on the edit which looks like a pencil up in the upper right hand corner of the video 
and I could go ahead and edit the video. I could edit my thumbnail, my title descriptions, my privacy settings, as well as adding it to a playlist or deleting it from a playlist. I can also edit the tags that are in here. I can get rid of them or I can add some to it. Um, as far as editing, you can check the monetization. You can switch out um, how it's monetized, what things will look like. You can also get into the uh, category settings, sort of the um, extra settings that are there, and you can um, you can go ahead and uh, go through all of that. You can also delete this from YouTube as well. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the back arrow. And let's go to the left-hand side again. Let's go into our playlists. Now, playlists, as a side note, as a caveat, playlists are very underutilized by content creators on YouTube. It is always a good thing to set up playlists um, depending upon how often you upload. So if you're uploading like every day or every three days throughout the week, you want to set up at least one or two playlists a week and that could be coming from your videos or from other people's videos. In either case, if your playlist is the entry point for which people go to YouTube to consume, you will get credit for it even if they aren't your videos. But you wanna try and make playlists from your own videos, of course. So we have a list of all the playlists that I've created and I could go ahead and tap on each one of these to get into more of a uh, descriptive view as to what is on here. Uh, you're able to also do a little bit of editing on the playlist just like you were with the videos. It will look a little bit different. You can also have the share function which is there on each one of the videos in edit mode as well. And you can also tap on the little YouTube icon and if you have the YouTube app installed on your iPad or iPhone, um, it will open up that app. Now you have the comment section. And again, I can't, uh, as a side note, I can't emphasize this enough. If you're a YouTube channel, you need to check your comments daily and you want to be able to respond to them. Now typically, I, if it's a more detailed response, I usually um, move those to Patreon, my Patreon account that I've gotten set up. You know, uh, responding to like support questions is an extra feature that I have set up on my Patreon. And you can check the link in the description to see what the what the feature is there. But in any case, um, the very top comment on a video that I posted about Facebook won't open in Chrome solved. Um, a person gave me a compliment, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on the thumbs up. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on the little comment bubble off to the right. And then you can tap in your comment. Not a problem. And then go ahead and tap on the little, well, airplane type of thing off to the far right of the comment. And it will post them for you. And you can go back through and see the comments that you have. Now they'll show up if you've done it in the past as a reply. Um, usually I've done replies. They'll show up as well as a lot of the other ones will show up as well. Now if we go ahead and tap on the analytics, the analytics will give you the overall analytics of your channel. Not to be confused with like if I were to go back into my videos and tap on the analytics on here to be able to view more. These are the analytics off of the particular video. The analytics that are here go over the entire channel. So I can check on um, real-time views. I can check on the real-time views of the last published videos. Um, watch time minutes, views, all of those different things. Um, revenue, subscription status, also my top videos. I can go ahead and tap on each one of these modules and get a more detailed view as to how these things go, as well as being able to change the time. If you'll notice up in the sort of quasi left hand quadrant of the screen, uh, top left hand under top videos, I can go ahead and change the time period at which I want to look at the analytics. And the same goes for any of the other analytics that are here. Whenever I tap on the subscribers, I can check on the days or the time period that I want. I can also get action steps uh, for each one of the analytics that are here. 
and it really it's you get quite a bit you can get into over new overview you can get into your revenue you can get into your discovery this is a very important area for youtube content creators as you can see on the top traffic sources uh, youtube search outranks the suggested videos which is basically makes sense because i'm a do-it-yourself or a, a tutorial channel and the same way with um uh, search terms, external searches, I mean basically they're coming from Google for my channel, but they may be different with yours, which is the reason why you want to get into your analytics. You can also check your audience retention, um, I mean audience demographics, what's going on there. Uh, pretty detailed with a lot of this. You can check out your interactive content, uh, your subscribe cards, your next video play cards, and you can check on the playlist, how they are doing throughout the channel. And as I can see, I made up a playlist down there of scripted news organizations. Um, that is one that I've created. So someone has done a search of that playlist and I am getting a little bit of credit. Now, if I add another person's video to my playlist, they are going to get the majority of credit uh, with regard to um, money if they have monetized their video. But I'm getting a little bit of that as well because my playlist is searched and it's looked at First, if it, if it brings it in first, I get a little bit of the money revenue from that. And we also have your settings off to the far left side. You can see the settings that are there. Uh, you can get into that. You can get into sending feedback uh, to the app developers. And you can also get into the help function of the app, as well as popping open your YouTube app if you don't already have it on your iPad or your iPhone. And as I've said, this um, the YouTube Creator Studio or YouTube Studio, however you want to uh, say it, it works in your iPad and iPhone. And really, it is really great for getting a general and intermediate view of your analytics. Now, the downside of it is you do not want to rely totally on this app for your analytics uh, with regard to your channel and all of your videos. And I'll, and I'll show you an instance here. I have a video here that I uploaded some time back. Uh, I did an arrangement of Metallica's The Unforgiven. So it's at the very top. So I can tap on the view more and get into the analytics and I can look at the audience retention rate. And of course it is what I expected it to be. I put this video up for fun and that's the way it is. Now on here, I can see when the audience retention drops off. But on YouTube, whenever you're looking at your analytics on the computer, not only does it show your analytics as retention, but it also shows where in the video. So this app is great for getting a general and even an intermediate view of your graphics that are here. But if you really want to deep dive into your analytics, which if you're serious about your YouTube uh, channel and creating good content and wanting to make a living, you're going to want to combine this app along with the analytics that you would see on the YouTube site on the back end of your channel. But in any case, I just wanted to bring this app to your attention. It is a fantastic thing if you're running around trying to, uh, trying to have a life and you're a content creator, you can look at the stuff on the go and it gives you an idea of how things are going and you can comment to people and you can like their comments. You can even pin their comments, um, add hearts, that sort of thing. It really is a great little app. So if you like this video, like and share and subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. Please show your support for this channel by visiting our Patreon page.